At three years old, I had chicken pox and was diagnosed with diabetes. Nathan. Oh, yeah, small. At eight, my hearing deteriorated. And then at 16, the eyesight started. First, it was deteriorating a little bit. I did need very large text, but I got to the stage I was unable to read anything. This is all due to a meningitis virus in my bloodstream. They seem to think that's what has caused it. At the time, it was devastating because he'd already lost his hearing which was admittedly he could use hearing aids, which did help his hearing, but there was nothing whatsoever that could help his sight. I quite often like to make morning tea and coffee for myself, my mother, Carol, and my father, Roger. We have never said to him, no, you can't do that because you are blind or because you can't hear. We've encouraged him to Try and do that, have a go. Mum, Dad, your cup is ready. I very rarely cook. Nate enjoys cooking, and so it's not that often I have to cook, which I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was lucky enough to get work in the hospital as a catering assistant, but I couldn't read the menu. So therefore I got a transfer to cleaning. And then during the cleaning, I was lucky enough to get a disability apprenticeship as a chef back in the kitchen. So that gave me a, a never give up feeling, which I never gave up on becoming a chef. I hope to become a little bit bigger in the future, like to become something else. I'd really love to become a teacher, to teach people regardless of their abilities. Just in a straight line, keeping the tip of the knife on the chopping board, lifting up the heel. Just carefully slice through the other way. Today we did uh, jumbo bacon and egg rolls, gourmet chicken burgers, and we also did a fish burger. I think the fellas went really well. They weren't scared to do anything in the kitchen. They followed food safety techniques really well. And once you've done that with the other set of tongs, can I please get you to turn the chicken? And at the end of the day, the students seem really appreciative for what I've taught them in the day. And there's nothing stopping them. I won't say it's been easy because it hasn't been easy. I mean, he makes part of our everyday life and we appreciate everything he does for us and with us. I like to get out and help my father with gardening, my mum with any of the other work around the place. I try to do as much as I possibly can. But regardless of the time, we'll be fishing. I really love to help people and know that I've helped them some way. We all have different things that we struggle with and I'd say people with disabilities haven't necessarily got a disability, they've just got a few difficulties.